Hi, my name is Taniela King. I am a filmmaker and you are now watching Alter Daily. Um, I won't say I wasn't like, you know, five years old and writing scripts at that age. But I'll say my interest in film started when I was in A-levels. So I always used to be that girl with like the camera, like recording stuff. And everyone was like, oh, why are you recording? Um, and it was at that point I decided I wanted to go into film. But I had already applied to go to uni to study economics. So I thought, okay, do you know what? I'll go and do my degree in economics. And when I'm done, I'll get into film. Um, so literally when I finished my economics degree, I came back to Nigeria. and interned on Tinsel, which is, I believe, Africa's longest TV show. I believe. Series, I believe. Um, interned on that for a year. From there, I was a production assistant and then a producer. And then I went to school. Back to, to school to study filmmaking. Um, so to date... I have written and directed um, one short film. I'm currently writing my next short film. But apart from short films, I have also gotten into fashion videography. I've covered um, live concerts and also done videos on a day in the life of this person or that person. So at the London Film School, I did a master's in filmmaking and it basically is everything. So writing, directing, editing, sound, lighting, production design, the whole works. And the beautiful thing about doing that master's in filmmaking at the London Film School is that because you're doing everything, at the end of the two years that you're studying, you can then decide what you want to pursue. So by the end of the two years, I decided to pursue writing and directing, which is what I did for Giddy High Life. But it was only until I got on set that I realized how effective my course had been. At the London Film School, the first two terms you shoot on film. And then I think in the fourth and fifth term, you have the opportunity to, to choose whether you shoot on film or not. But the reason why you shoot on film on the first two terms is so you can be trained to film properly, quote unquote, in the sense that now when you shoot on in the digital, like you've been doing, <laughs> you're just rolling the camera because you're not like, you know, you can literally delete the footage and like shoot again. Whereas with film, you need to make sure you practice properly. You need to do all your shots, like do your shot list, make sure everything is good before you roll the camera. Because you know, once you roll that camera, you're literally, time is literally money. The short film I did is called Giddy High Life. It was my graduation film from the London Film School. I shot it in Lagos in Nigeria in 2018, well, 2020 now, <laughs> so 2018. And it's basically a short film about a girl that's used to live in the shadow of her younger sister. But then she eventually realizes that the limelight isn't all it's made out to be. So the idea for Giddy High Life came unfortunately from the death of two of my friends. One died as a result of drink driving and the other as a result of an ex accidental drug overdose. So I wanted to talk and, uh, and that year quite a few young people actually died because of a, a result of just the high life and just like enjoying and all that kind of stuff. Um, but not having balance in what they're doing. So I wanted to talk about it to hopefully try and prevent more needless deaths and also just let people know that you can enjoy your life and like party and do all that stuff but just you know be aware of what you're doing but also touches on the whole concept of nigerian parents that for you to be successful in life you need to be a doctor or an engineer or an architect be able like a filmmaker like me or like a photographer then you're not serious in life whereas at the end of the day people need to do what they're good at and obviously make money from it but people don't have to just do specific careers to be successful in this life anymore you can do a variety of careers um my funding for the film was via kickstarter and the london film school also gives us quite a bit of money to do the film as well it's in god's hands my brother <laughs> no legit like as it is now i, I mean i'm christian right so like i kind of just do the work and pray and like just try and figure it out somehow so right now i'm at writing stage i know there are lots of funds that can be done in england um so i'm gonna have to look into those i know my friend has a company he started and he was looking for projects um there are quite a few people i feel like i feel like as long as you have a good script and obviously god's grace on your side and you have and you plug yourself like it's just a matter of time but story is king. One thing I learned, especially from my last film, the story is king. I believe it's great to tell stories about yourself and about where you come from. So I would definitely make... So my first film, for example, I shot it here. Because, like, my first film, have to shoot it here. 
and I was actually inspired by one of my friends, Kobe. He shot his film, his short film from the London Film School in Ghana called House Girl. You should go and watch that, it's a good film. Um, but when I saw that, I was like, yep, I'm shooting my first film in Lagos because this is like, yes, I was born in Britain and like I am British, but like my roots are not, like my heart is Nigerian, like my formative years were Nigerian, like my attitude is Nigerian. I only recently became a quote unquote film junkie in the sense that like I always just enjoyed films but I was never really geeky or nerdy about films so weirdly enough if you were to ask me about who inspires me the most as a filmmaker I would have to talk to you about the people that are in my everyday life so um, as I mentioned before Kobe is like one of my first friends at film school like he inspires me daily. Like he's literally the ones that was pushing me. Like, I'll tell you what are you doing, what are you doing. Da, da, da. Thomason's another person. You know Thomason. Like I did pay you. Like he's another person. Um, Cornelius. He's another person. Ajani's another person. William Boyd. He's another person. Like Charlene Wango. She's another person. Jim. Like these are people that are in my circle. If I haven't mentioned your name, no big so. <laughs> But these are people that I have surrounded my, myself with recently that inspire me as a filmmaker. Shoot! That's what they told me, that's how you shoot the films. Um, practice. Use your, if you don't have a camera, use your phone. Like, I will, I will say no shoot is wasted in the sense that a lot of people think, like go to film school, if you have the funds to go to film school, go to film school um, because and it depends on how you learn as well. Me personally, I'm the kind of person, whatever I do, I do 100%, right? So, like, me being in film school, I was able to, like, take out time from work and all that kind of stuff and focus on being a filmmaker and growing as a filmmaker. Um, but if you don't have the funds to go to film school, then just literally watch YouTube videos, read books, shoot. Like, there's so many things. Like, now I edit a lot more than I shoot. And I love editing. One of the things I've learned editing-wise, I learned it via YouTube. Do you know what I mean? Um, I feel like there's so much information out there that people have no excuse to learn their craft because it's out there and it's for free. Like, there's so many free pe- freebies online because of information. So to any young film- filmmaker, I'll be like, I'll say to them, gain knowledge. Gain a lot of knowledge in your field. But at the end of the day, you need to shoot because when you want to talk to people, people want to see what you've done. It's ah, like, oh, but I don't have a shot of film yet. So well, you have your phone... If you don't have your phone, your friend has a phone, like, beg them for their phone, do you get what I mean? Like, hustle it. Like, you need to hustle it. There are too many, there are too many creatives now for you to not hustle and think it's going to happen. It's not going to happen if you don't hustle it. So, write down your stories, even if it's a five-minute clip, like, and YouTube is your friend, like, Vimeo is your friend, like, Instagram, like, there's so many avenues for you to put your stuff out there. People don't have an excuse anymore. The Alternative Network.